tremolo series. In this series, we're going to share with you tremolo pedals by some of our favorite manufacturers. Thanks for joining us. On this episode from our Tremolo series, the warble is being made by the Dunlap Tremolo Volume Plus pedal. Yeah. The word on the street is, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're great. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, it's Tremolo. It's perfect. Um, picked up at a pawn shop. Yeah, in, uh, around Atlanta. We've been joking about the what looks to be about 100 years of funk rowing inside of it. <laughs> yes, so. that's right. Um, I think... We start on this one. Let's get the volume thing out of the way. Yeah. Um, and we're not even 100% sure the volume thing is working the way maybe it's supposed to work. Yeah. But I, I think it might be. So essentially what they've done is they've given you like a wah pedal. You click it on, it engages the pedal. Right. Uh, so right now, pedal's not engaged. We could do mm -hmm. reference tone right now if we wanted. But we're, we're jumping right into this we one. We are. We're all over we're, it. Uh, the Revolta Mandata 8 into the Tyler uh, PT-22. No, the JT-22. Mm -hmm. uh, all the pickups, because why not? A little reverb. Pretty freshly restarted with say, the, the... String joints? String joints. They're bright. They sound great. So... Great. Like a wah pedal. Minus your foot. <laughs> Did that not click? There we go. There you go. So like a wild pedal, we click it on like a wild pedal. And then you have these two switches down here on the sides. And I'm going to pop the one on the right. Mm -hmm. That turns the tremolo off, turns on the volume pedal. Then we have two knobs up here. If we roll the back knob all the way down, that would be volume down. And roll the top knob all the way up, that would be volume up. So he teal, toe and heel. We're in the toe position. We should get full volume. <laughs> And so we said to ourselves, wait a second. If you play once. There's a volume change. Right. But not zero. Right. And I would thought zero. Like, I would think that this would go to zero. That way you can. You turn silent. Yeah. Silent. Or you can bring it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why it doesn't go to zero. We haven't taken the time to look it up. Pawn shop fine. Not cleaned out. We're mostly interested in the tremolo side. Yeah, because we're going to pop that back in and go back right. to tremolo because that's what we're doing here is right. tremolo. So on the tremolo side, we have more of a sine wave and then more of a square wave if you pop that button in. And then up here, we have a depth knob mm -hmm. um, and then the treadle speed. So let's get to like a medium speed real quick. Uh, right. It's just a chord. <laughs> What's Any a chord? What's a chord? <laughs> want to start with the depth on yeah because you can see how it goes from subtle to really all right so roll the depth knob all the way down It's always funny when we do this when it's subtle and you don't hear the actual rate. <laughs> I start playing and I'm like, no, that doesn't sound right. But there's so much range in that knob. That there knob is. like kept going and going and going and going. I thought, is this knob broken? It's just gonna keep spinning around like an owl's head. It's just gonna never stop. Because <laughs> there was a point where I'm like, oh, we must be near the mm -hmm. top, but then it kept going and kept going. And so that's pretty cool. That's a nice sounding. It is. And when that was back, like, um, I don't know. 
You got time, right? Sure. Mm. Right there, like yeah. real subtle. That's nice. Mm-hmm. That's really nice. So here's our recommendation. <laughs> Not that anybody would ever listen to it. Get rid of this, right? Like, right. Get, get rid of the, the stuff over here. Yeah, I mean, maybe for me, and maybe it's not functioning properly, right? Because yeah. secondhand. But to me, I'd want a zero and a, and a true heel, true toe, because that's how I use my volume, either for swells or a lot of times just for silent tuning. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure. A lead boost? I don't know. Like, I'm not sure how I would use that. Yeah, maybe. I just, I mean, for me, it's like, or is it the perceived volume loss of a tremolo as well? Like you can compensate for that? With it, with that switch on the side, you can't get, right, it just you have to have open over here to be able to get your foot in and kick that. Right. To switch back and forth between the tremolo and volume. Right. If the tremolo sounds really good and the tremolo sounds really good, why would you ever kick it off the tremolo? Nope. You got a volume pedal right there. Yes. Um. I don't know. I would say, I mean, personally, I'm like, just from running that knob, not doing the speed, not hitting the chop, nothing... That's nice. Mm-hmm. The variable speed with with the um, well, since you kind of have it set at that kind of subtle, do you want to do the the rate with the treadle here at that? Mm-hmm. Or, yeah. Uh, or I mean, we can we can turn it up a little bit, make it a little more whatever. Pronounce, yeah. I wonder if their tremolo tremolo pedal is the same circuit, just in mm-hmm. the pedal without the treadle, mm-hmm. because it's really nice. I feel like it's the same color. <laughs> I think it's the same color. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're doing this. Yeah. Thing we didn't do is hit the hit the chop yet. We didn't get to the chop. Uh, just hit the chop real quick and do the same thing. <laughs> right. I like the chop. It, we were talking about off camera. We have a life off camera. Like, what if you had this? We're still talking about pedals. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, yeah. laughs> we thought it wasn't as interesting enough to put on camera, but we're going to have it again. Um, you know, would you have maybe two tremolo pedals, right? And have this one set at a, at a really, like, to have the chop on or something and have another smooth, subtle one. And then really, because the chop is really nice. It's aggressive. And that's what the depth way down. I'm not, and I wonder if the depth would really affect the well, kind of surprised that the chop normally when you go to the square wave yeah it doesn't matter because it's a square wave mm-hmm. and it's chopped whatever but it does circuit. yeah it's nice it's really cool it's great <laughs> <laughs> you know what's great about it i think i paid 30 bucks for it <laughs> yeah that's really nice but even like sending it at the end of your board because mm-hmm. yeah. a lot of times tremolo you put near the end right you know it's a big pedal still it, yeah it, would, it wouldn't be on a travel board. <laughs> you wouldn't take that on a fly date. <laughs> no, but like a lot of people carry their wild pedal separately from mm-hmm. their board and just mm-hmm. throw it at the end. Right. A lot of times, tremble at the end. Yeah, you get in and do one before reverb, after mm-hmm. reverb, and all that stuff. But that's another episode that we haven't shot yet. I think we actually did, did at we? one point. Yeah, maybe we did. The Joyo pedal. Yeah, that's I true. I think we did reverb we did. it before and after. Mm-hmm. All right. So, anything else? I don't know. I think we made a mountain out of a molehill already, so we should probably <laughs> stop digging. And it sounds great. You know, we don't have anybody to thank for it other than the pawn shop down in Atlanta that happened to have that in. Well, the only thing that we didn't do right. is like yeah, sure. throw a drive in front of it. So right. maybe when we play out, we can take the Barber Electronics Direct Drive because it's ever present sitting right here. Get to the chop. Um, 
and just kind of fl- slide that in mm-hmm. wherever it is. Get to the job. <laughs> so it's, we're at that point. Yep. We always like to say thank you for watching. Thanks to everybody that subscribed. Click the like uh, notification bell. Hit the like button. Uh, if you left comments down below, we appreciate that. Um, go on out to Instagram or Facebook. Make sure you stop by the the new website. We have all of the episodes from you know, all the series up. Mm-hmm. It makes it really easy to kind of. I think the Tremolo series takes up about three different pages now. There's so many, but in those three pages, you can see all the Tremolo pedals that we've yeah. done, and we'll be adding to that as we add these. And I think, um, other than shout out to our members and thank you for being a member, I think with with that, I'm PJ on behalf of the Beard, reminding no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear, especially. Purple plum tremolo petals.